In this video, we'll learn about eczema and skin hydration. We know the importance of keeping hydrated. It becomes especially important if you are suffering from eczema. Did you know that your body consists of approximately 75% water? Our blood is 90% water, and our brain consists of 80% water. That's a lot of water. Without proper hydration, even normal bodies suffer and perform at less than optimal capacity. Even a 4% decrease in hydration will affect our thinking and energy level. Needless to say, dehydration can serve as a quick trigger for eczema flare-ups. Eczema is dry skin, and when you aren't properly hydrated, you are immediately setting the itch-scratch cycle into motion. Please note that water is the best hydrating agent. Alcohol, coffee, and energy drinks may be liquid, but they dehydrate and rob the body of needed hydration. Fruit juices are okay, but if possible, water them down. So, if you have eczema, always keep a bottle of water at your side. You may not have heard of these, but wet wraps drench your skin in water and lessen the severity of eczema by up to 75% when applied along with your topical ointment. This can bring huge relief during a major flare-up. Wet wraps are bandages soaked in water, which are wrapped around the affected area after it has been treated with ointment or cream. The wraps help reduce inflammation and soreness while they help the skin absorb the moisture for a more lasting effect. If you are using a steroid cream, the wet wrap will help deeper layers of skin absorb the steroid for greater benefit. A side benefit of the wraps is that your inflammation is under wraps and preventing you from scratching. If a large part of the body is being treated, indulge in a hydrating bath infused with bath oils before applying the wet wrap. For children or large patches of adult eczema, there are garments that can be purchased for a total wet wrap. These wet wraps can be used for several days until the redness disappears. Topical creams should be applied on a regular basis each day. Benefits of wet wraps include less itching and scratching, less inflammation, greater hydration, improved sleep if applied at night. There is a direct correlation between cold weather and dry eczema skin. Everyone knows how the winter cold can dry out normal skin. It can cause serious flare-ups to skin with eczema, making it itchier and more inflamed. Studies have shown that the colder the weather, the more severe eczema can become. Moving to a warmer climate is an excellent solution and can make eczema all but disappear, but it may not always be feasible. So, it becomes especially critical to moisturize the skin several times every day and keep well hydrated. Bathe daily in warm, not hot, bath water that has plenty of oils. Consider this an indulgence. There is an overwhelming amount of eczema products on the market. It can be difficult to make sense of it all, but a discussion with your dermatologist can help. Then there are some surprising lubricants the doctor may not even think of. Vegetable shortening, such as Crisco, contains palm oils that can be very soothing to dry skin. Vegetable shortening is thick and helps the skin retain moisture. Apply the shortening to moist skin following a shower and let the skin absorb it before getting dressed. A benefit to using vegetable shortening is that it is inexpensive, and you can use a lot of it without spending a fortune. Vaseline jelly is another soothing product that can lock in moisture. Since it can be messy, you can apply it to infected areas such as hands and feet, and wear protective cotton gloves and feet. Any cream or lotion is better than no moisturizer when you have eczema. However, when choosing a cream, look for one containing colloidal oatmeal which is an ingredient that is known to soothe eczema. As mentioned earlier, even ancient Egyptians bathed in oatmeal. Other excellent ingredients to look for are shea butter and ceramides, ingredients that specifically relieve itching. Avoid creams that contain perfumes or alcohol, as these may cause an allergic reaction and trigger a flare-up. Eczema on the face can be especially frustrating and uncomfortable to handle. Many of the steroid-based creams on the market can be too harsh for sensitive facial skin. If the rash proves stubborn, ask your dermatologist about a weaker steroid cream or a non-steroid prescription medication. Luckily, there are a number of safe over-the-counter products specially formulated for eczema, so begin to check labels or ask your doctor for a recommendation. Look for creams containing zinc oxide and beeswax, both of which create a safe barrier for sensitive skin. Every skin is different and you may need to experiment with a few brand names to determine which works best for you. Wearing makeup can actually be beneficial since it allows you to cover up any red rashes and flaking, but you need to choose your products with care. 
Your first step is to moisturize your face thoroughly to prevent the makeup from drying out and becoming scaly. Avoid makeup with additives such as butylparaben and methylparaben. These can dry your skin even more and lead to increased irritation. The best makeup for eczema sufferers should contain natural oils to increase moisture. When applying makeup, use your freshly washed fingers to gently dab on makeup instead of a makeup brush. Even brushes that are regularly cleaned can contain bacteria. Complete your makeup routine with a facial mist to seal in moisture. There is a light therapy that can be extremely effective as an eczema treatment, especially for facial skin. The treatment consists of ultraviolet light that recreates natural sunlight. Approximately 70% of eczema sufferers who try phototherapy see improvement on their skin. It takes about two months to see any difference. Phototherapy can reduce annoying itch, reduce inflammation, increase the number of bacteria-fighting cells. If the treatment is successful, patients can reduce their visits to once a week to maintain their state of remission.